Good day everyone and welcome back to Mommy Guide Inc. For those who are new to my channel or watching on replay, I am Mommy Lala and you are watching day 19 of my craft every day in April or Sida April. Okay, so for tonight, our project is again, we're going to be making cards to okay, one where we will be sewing some things on it and the other one is going to be a watercolor one. And this is just going to be fast because of course at 10 p.m. we will all hop on to my dear friends uh, Don in the chat right now, Crafty Visage and of uh, be not afraid of color as they uh, actually do their weekly collaboration on art journaling. So if you are also interested in that, you can just stay in the chat and I will redirect you to their channels. Okay, so of course, uh, thank you so much, my moderator daughter, for being in the chat. And of course, Don, thank you so much. She is, of course, first in the chat once again. And thank you so much for being here, Don, because as you know watercolor is something that i am you know not really okay with just the thought of doing watercolor gives me the jitters but then again how will i um learn right unless i am a i am required to do so i will haven't been doing it you know um intentionally so i said maybe so from today up to the end of my sida i will insert coloring into whatever project i'm doing maybe 15 to 20 minutes or 30 minutes of coloring whether it be alcohol markers um watercolor pencils or pencils or whatever it is right so i can you know hopefully improve right not just mindset but actually practice as well okay there you go hi zell thank you so oops it's so small <laughs> okay there you go zell hi zell okay and of course don saying hi to everybody also okay so let us start okay so for today let's we will do the water coloring last let's start first with what we call okay because lately i've been seeing a lot of videos from our dear uh, community friends who are especially like with lynn because she is part of uh, spellbinders um, design team right so they have been showing off uh the new releases for april and then uh, it's a lot about sewing right and there are stamps and there are actually dies that you can use to you know cut out these elements like flowers where uh, there are already you know um holes for you to stitch on so that is super awesome but since i don't have those so i will do the second best right so i will work on oh i can really see my see can you see my tumor is growing <laughs> I, it's very obvious now okay so anyway so i will be um as i was saying i will be using what i have from the past okay another blast from the past these are actually i think from uh the so easy uh, line of i think this is we are memory keepers if i'm not mistaken okay so there is a handle Okay, where you also put the you know the needle that you will use it just so happens that since i have not been using this for a long long time i don't know where i place the handle it's not together with all of this okay so but what this uh, do is that you will see that there are designs on each of these rollers so these are actually some something like uh it will punch holes onto the paper so this one Okay, if you push it onto the paper like so, you can sew in something like this. Sew in something like this. And then this one will do flowers. And this one will do like blanket stitch. And this one will do like this one. Okay, and this one will do banners. Okay, and this one will do like this. Okay, this one. And like this okay so what i did okay since i cannot find the handle anymore so what i did 
was just to simulate it. I know that it should be like this. Okay, so if it's on, okay, so it should be flat like that. Okay, and it should not be like like that. It should be angled a little bit, and then you push it so that it would roll. See, that's why it's okay. You would see that its head is not straight on top. It's angled because it's supposed to, you know, glide like so using the handle you will push it okay so the handle can be removed you put it in and then you lock it but just so happened i cannot find it so what i did was to just hold it by you know my hand and then glide it through the paper okay so what i did is some um, okay and of course i want i used uh, i needed some dmci or any you know floss okay that um you have at home right so cross stitch or stitching or embroidery floss or skins i think that's what they call it okay so this one's okay but this one i i couldn't use because these are uh special ones these are like glittered ones they're so hard to um put into the needle i gave up so i just used regular <laughs> regular ones okay so what i did was to So this is this one. It looks very dirty because of uh, embossing. Okay, this one actually is uh, have a double-sided thing. Okay, remember when you buy uh, um, what do you call this stamps before? They will come. Some of them would come in like very thin um, rubber like this. So I use this actually as you know foam when i do my stamping before before the advent of the misty right so you so that you will have crisper images because if you will um stamp on a hard surface then most of the time if you're just gonna use the t um the stamp positioner okay um it's gonna be hard so with the advent of the the misty and other stamp platform that is no longer an issue but before so that was this one is for but i will repurpose it or i have repurposed it for this uh, episode to use like this okay so i'll show you so these are the images that uh, you know i was able to do okay again you cannot do this one if you have a hard surface so you need something like this one just a, a thin one maybe an eighth of an inch okay thick Okay, so you put any cardstock or any paper that you like to use. Okay, so let's say this one, this black paper. Okay, and then you choose. Okay, so for example, okay, this one. Okay, so you want to use this stitch. Okay, so for your paper crafting. So uh, what I did was to use a ruler as a guide so that it's not gonna be wonky because i don't have the handle right so i just made sure it's there and then the first part would be i will press on it press down okay since i don't have the handle it's really me just holding on to this thing the so easy um i don't know what you call them <laughs> okay okay you push them you will hear like a click meaning it's already pressed in and then you will just glide and roll okay i don't know if you were hearing that but you could hear okay there i heard that there were already so you can see that it really you know put holes on the paper okay and then so i wanted to create you know several um stitches so I, and I will use this ones that I created to follow uh, one of Kenja's card challenge uh, card sketch, which is sketch number six. So each one of these papers, so paper B would be three of the same color um, thread. Okay, and then there's the C, two of the same color. Okay, so I followed Kenja's sketch number for the card that i'm going to create from this one so let's say another one okay so let's say you want uh this one okay okay this one okay like the stars okay flower stars okay again i just made sure that the paper is 
you know, flush to the top of there. And then I start here. I push down again. Okay, so if you still have this, okay, absolutely, this is no longer available in the market. This has been so old already. Okay, but then again, as I said, I don't have those um, dies where they make, you know, um, like the ones that uh, Spellbinders recently released. So I said, I want to do that also. But so this is the next best thing. Okay, so then it created these images, right? So now you will just follow that to create, okay, your images, okay, or your your sewed in, okay, okay, another one like this flower, okay. So again, the same thing, right? So and then just make sure that that's why the ruler is here so it will guide me so it's not gonna be wonky okay i went back see there's double okay so don't do that okay that is wrong sorry about that one okay and then this one okay so you'll see that um, it makes different holes depending on what kind of you know stitch you are going to create okay so this one it's gonna be like that wave thing right so that is how i basically did it all right so i use this so easy okay heads okay onto the paper or cardstock and then just uh, used an embroidery needle actually this is for cross stitch because i wanted the big holes and then i used uh, all six okay so one like this okay for 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 the thread to put inside so that it's gonna be thick so um i'm gonna show you now what i have done okay so for the interest of time because this is gonna take a while if i will uh do this from scratch live so these are the ones that i have finished okay so for this one okay hold on let me get that okay so you will see what it looks like so this one is this one okay so that is gonna be this one okay and then we have the blanket stitch okay so the blanket stitch okay is this one okay so it's easier instead of you poking holes and then measuring so that you make sure that each hole is even steven right so that's uh this is an easier way okay this one okay and then this is my favorite okay this one because I think this one is the one that they use for the flowers, for the the one for spellbinders, right? But that one is already in a, like a flower shape, right? And then this is the last one, okay, that I will continue making live, okay? Just a few more, okay? So again, as I said, okay, so this is basically, I, I, I used the, oh no, because I made the, you know the hardest uh, thing for me in doing this this project today is putting in the, the thread into the needle even with my magnifying you know glass it was so hard it's like uh, to sew this thing it's easy it's the the putting the the thread in the needle is what you know took me a long long while to finish oops to hold on my thread because it's so long Okay, so normally a thread, it's just like one wrap around your, your arm. That's the suggested length. But then since I am having a hard time, you know, putting the thread in the needle, I really made, you know, the threads really, really long. But when you have a, a thread that that is long, you are prone to having, you know, knots. Okay, and that is basically what's happening right now. So I'm trying to untangle my thread okay there you go just one more knot somewhere here okay that i just need to remove okay hold on see this is my issue it's it's the thread and the needle that and also this is one of the 
I love cross stitching. I have actually created a lot of you know. I I love needlework, but uh, it came to a point where repetitive movements using my hands and my arms would cause my back or my spinal issue to be triggered, and so I had to let go of you know this um, this craft or this passion of mine i even created like a like a light size cross stitch of my mom for mother's day when uh, she was still alive i was then in high school see how long crazy long my thread is <laughs> that's why there is uh oh my goodness see ah I keep on getting the knots because it's so long. See, I have to untangle it again. Oh my goodness. I can't see. That's the thing. Okay, the issue of not being able to, to see. Okay, who would ever thought that you know we, I would reach this part where I cannot I can barely see anything. Okay, so let me see. Let me untangle this tangled piece of what has happened here. My goodness. Goodness gracious. Okay. First and foremost, this one. I really cannot make it shorter, guys, because it's so hard to put it into the. It like it's like thirty minutes for me to put the the thread into the needle. So imagine thirty minutes <laughs> just for that. Okay, so the 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 longest part for me in putting this together is this part. Okay, the putting in the needle, but then the, we have this happening. I pulled it and I made this not over here. No, I don't want to start again. <laughs> okay, I remember because that is a very thick needle. So let's do the one for gosh. Can this be unraveled? Can this be untangled, guys? What's okay, we have tips. How do you untangle something like this? There's still a long ways to go. One more. Ah. Okay, I just have to make the holes bigger. We'll see. We'll just have to pass through. Okay, you can do this. Uh, the knot is still there. I'm just forcing it to go through. Okay, so again, there are already the holes at the back. See how long, crazy long my thread is. If my home economics teacher is, what, is still alive, she would be like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, Sammy. Okay. And then, oh, we have Miss Mary. Hello, Miss Mary. 
Okay, I like those. Yeah. Wait, did I read right? Watercolor cards. <laughs> yes. Yes, that is. That's the second card. Hold on. I'm still in the in the stitching part. I will, I will. And uh, remember my promise to you, um, Dallas, last year when you were in the show that I would do like daily practice. I think I did it for a week. And then, you know, um, coming into towards the new year and all. Um, yeah, and then preparing for the craft getaway. That was my uh, crazy excuse. That's why I didn't. So I said, okay, moving forward, I will insert coloring into my daily lives okay into my daily live streams okay so no matter what the project is i should color something as you guys have mentioned to me the theory okay you got it okay now you apply okay so that's the thing i need to apply the theory okay so just finishing the the last part so i did this already this afternoon and putting the thread in was so long that's why i was like crying already i said i really wanted to use my nice floss you know the the glittered ones but they are super hard to um to put in so i gave up on that and then just use the regular floss but still use all the six um threads because I want it to be, you know, thick. Okay. Oh, <laughs> vintage. <laughs> Actually, this wasn't something that really, I think, this was, if it's a movie, was considered a flop. Um, because the thing is, not like the one that, uh, you know, Spellbinders has right now where the actual dye like say the flower it's already there this one is um you know you can just make the stitches what if you want to you know put this kind of stitch onto the different images that you have right so this was really more like the actual stitch right <laughs> so not like the products that uh, there are, they have right now it's uh, super awesome but then again as i said i don't have those so this is second best okay so for me to be able to do some paper sewing okay, without without the sewing machine of course okay um i do have the sewing machine the only reason i have it is for uh you know uh sewing paper <laughs> and card stocks together and some ribbons okay, but as i said i have seen that this is making a comeback and it's really really nice as i said i actually uh watched angela do another one it's like angela has been doing a really amazing you know videos lately and dallas i saw the atcs oh my gosh they're so nice actually today i would i wanted to do some um preparations for art journaling so that i could you know um by the time we get to uh the live of uh, don and t that i could be working alongside them but then i saw this and i said okay let's work on this and i will just uh whoop. okay do that one okay behind the scenes during dawn and peace live later and it's also clean at the back right so that is how we were taught in school um our teacher looks at the back rather than the front so if the back is not tidy then you're not gonna get a good score or a good grade Sad to say, this one, um, Sammy or my son doesn't like. Especially the crocheting part. When I was teaching Sammy cross stitch, oh my gosh. I know, not cross stitch. Uh, the, 
you know, the chain stitch for um, crochet. It's, it took her like the whole day just to get like 10 cross, you know, chain stitches in. Okay, almost done guys. Almost done with this one. My cardstock is not really that heavy. Maybe this is just 150, 170 GSM. You see how long my thread is? I was like going like this. <laughs> because it's so long. Because I don't want to thread again. Okay, just a few more. Yeah, I think I'll end that. Okay, there. Okay, and then to end, normally all you need to do is to push them in into the other. Okay, and then make a knot. Okay, so let's do it twice. Okay, and then we need scissors. Okay, so now we're done with the okay with the stitching. Okay, again, so this is for the hand stitched part card. Okay, so it's hand stitched, hand stitched card. Oh, that's a mouthful. That's a tongue twister, right? So there. So I'm gonna be using just an A2 card. Okay, and I'm using uh, following the sketch. Okay, from Kenja, but instead of the same stitch, it's the same color of the thread. So it says there, there are three that have the same color. Okay, and then two that are not. And then there should be two more. But since this one is a thick one, so I'm just doing it like that. Okay. But then, okay, we will, because I made it a little bit long, so I'm gonna, from... From like a portrait one, I'm gonna turn it into a landscape. Where's the opening? Okay, so it's gonna be like that. Like that. Okay. So I want the orientation to be like so. Okay. So I will attach. Okay. And then I will put in these cuties. Okay. And that's gonna say crafters gonna craft. Right? I don't have something that has a sentiment that has like so happy or something like that. So this is the be the next best best thing for me, okay? So there. I'm sure you have it, Dallas. Okay, it's called Easy. Easy. Okay, hold on. One. Focus. So easy. S E W. Okay, let's choose another color. It's probably easier to see from here. Come on. Focus. You're not focusing. So easy. S E W E E. Well, how about a bigger one? So easy. Come on. There, there. There you go. So easy. I think it's from We Are Memory Keepers. Okay. So there you go. So let's put in our foam tape do i want the foam tape yes so that uh, let's see or just a flat one 
because there is a raised part right so i feel that having it in a foam tape is better okay unearthing all our <laughs> old stash I really want to do the ones that they were doing, but I don't have that. And I don't know if we have a local supplier that has it already. So that's why, okay, but I want to do that also. So, so this is the second best thing for me to do to at least be able to, you know, to sew something on paper by hand and not by a uh, sewing machine so, did i do this correctly okay there we go and then this side this one How does it look? Let me see the distance between each. Okay, like so. Okay, got it. This is not mixed media, anak. <laughs> Tommy, this is not mixed media. <laughs> Why do you need this in your life, Azel? We need the dye better. It's just not available here yet. Or I don't know who is, you know. So. Right, Dawn? Same here. I love stitching. Okay, have a safe uh, trip back home, Dallas. Okay, Diane, hi. Have you tried the needle threader? I also have just... Diane, all my needle threaders I destroyed. I had four. <laughs> For the life of me, I destroyed all of them. <laughs> right? So I do need to get one. Yes, I have those. I absolutely cannot live without them. That's why it took me an hour. Guys, an hour. I already have that magnifying glass. Where it's, oh my goodness. I had to wet the edges of the, the thread cut it several times because it was already frayed i wanted to cry it's like <laughs> the sewing part was easy it was the putting together the putting the thread in the needle that was really an, oh my goodness that was such a pain Oh yeah, right Dawn? You know, ha ha hand and eye coordination could also be, right? There you go. And finally, this one. Okay, over there. Okay. So this one, a little bit. So... I really like that uh, the Spellbinders collection where they had this. And I absolutely love how Lynn did the... She did... Uh, what do you call that? She, she has these episodes in her channel for Spellbinders where um, she uses uh, the monthly release. She makes one that's just... A, very regular one a flat one then she makes the other one a little bit more interactive and the third one is really something like a pop out of some sort it's really nice and i've seen a lot of other crafters or channels doing the the same thing oops okay wow it's a good thing i haven't okay stuck it yet Okay, see, I can't see. Maybe it's 
we can move this still can i still move it it's already stuck can i still move you no yeah okay. it's okay it's this one's a bit too too big anyway no worries okay so now we'll just remove the excess ones on the side okay again i had to you know sew this in earlier that it was really fast it's the putting the thread in the needle that took forever okay. so yes diane is right if i i if i had the you know the threader it would have been super easy but i destroyed three and then the other one i don't know where it is i know i have four okay so that's this one okay and um for this one okay so i want i'm gonna be using this one this one are actually elements from doodle bug i think it was a crafty collection of of some sort i forgot what it's called something crafty okay let me see and then i will insert this like so okay so something like like that okay because i want to cover this part where i didn't have enough right so and then we're just gonna cut the excess okay so this is just you know a fast card okay How did I put it again? Oh, it's like that. Okay. And then it's gonna look like that. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna put you over there. So by the way, questions for today, guys. Do you add hand stitch or hand uh, or sewn elements onto your cards? And do you, you for the second card? Do you use watercolors for coloring your stamp images, or you use something else like colored pencils, or alcohol markers, or stuff like that? Okay. So can you please um, put your answers or comments in the chat for that? I would really appreciate it. Okay, if you would engage with us, I would love to hear from you know from you guys. Okay, so let's put this over there. Okay. Okay, so let's lift this crafters. Got a craft card. Yes, it's, I think, uh, Zell, it's called T part of TLE technology livelihood education so it's not like a just a home economics thing it's part of what they call TLE so there you go okay and then uh, the excess I will just there's a little bit excess <laughs> my scissors full of gunk I just have to clean it with the goo gun later. Okay, so there you go. How cute is that, right? So, crafters. Okay, it's a little wonky. Okay. Crafters gonna craft. Okay, so that's my card number one. So, there you go. Okay, so to mask out my... Uh, unfinished okay it's some are long some are short so i put that one up okay so the next part of this episode for tonight okay by the way please don't forget to like and if you are not yet subscribed i would really appreciate it if you like what you're seeing and that you would consider subscribing as well okay so this is the first card now moving on so the second card is going to be um 
watercolor. Okay, because again, watercolor is something that I absolutely fear and I'm not comfortable doing. Uh, basically, anything that has to do with coloring, right? So, this is the stamp that I used. Okay, so that is actually from... I know that probably you guys do recognize this one. Again, if it's me, it's probably old. <laughs> okay, this is actually part of the Prima uh, line. It's called the Prima Princesses. Okay, cling stamps. This is the Olivia. Okay, this is her. Okay, so I stamped her on a cold press watercolor paper. So since it's cold press, it does have a bit of a texture. So I had a quite a difficulty, you know, stamping it because of again that texture. Although I did stamp it already on the less rough. Okay, there's even a rougher side, and then. Um, as you know i listen to our friends right so i actually this is a chopping board but i don't use it for food guys i just use it for crafting remember i i i added attachments to my drawers and i punch a hole <laughs> see that there's a hole there anyway so this is where i attached it okay so um to make it easier for me Okay, I find that uh, heat embossing the image um, is easier when I do watercolor. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, now what will I color it with? Okay, that is now the pressing issue or question. Okay. So what will be the color of this girl? <laughs> and how will I be able to color it? Okay, so guys, again, disclaimer. I'm not doing this because I'm so good at it. I'm doing this because I need to practice. I need to learn how to better, you know, use watercolor. I know I should not be afraid of color. I should embrace color just like what T's channel name says okay not be not afraid of color okay okay so so for ease okay we will just use this okay a zig clean color real brush okay because they can actually act as uh you know watercolor as well so i'll just do a wet on wet i think is what they call it okay so let's just choose the colors first Okay, um, so that I won't have a hard time, I am going to follow the color from the, or from the, what do you call this, from the packaging, okay? Because that's another thing that I struggle with, okay? If you let me decide what color I'm going to use, it's going to take me forever. Okay, so, and then some browns. Okay, this is the same. I think that's a gray. That's not a brown. Okay, so that one. Okay, let me check. Maybe they're the same. This is 060. See, they're the same. <laughs> Why do I have multiples? Right? <laughs> okay, that is me. Okay, 60, 61. This is 72. And then this is 54. Okay, and then this is dark brown, 62. I already have 62. 60, 62. 72. 62, 64. Okay, these are the browns. Oh, this is already gray. Okay, light brown. Okay. So there you go, because here the flowers, the end a bit of, what do you call this color, guys? Is that orange? Is that orange? Orange family. I think I don't have it. Could it be this? No. Okay, and her hair. Her hair. Okay. Let me see. This is red, 20. This is 22. Okay, so we can do that. 20, 
two. And then there's a bit of... Oh, this one. But what happened to this one? I think I broke it. Why this one looks like this? It's still working. Okay, yes. Okay, and I think that one could be... Okay, what is this one? It's called Mustard. There you go. I think that's it. There, for the hair. That's the Mustard. Okay, together with you. Okay, and then we have pink for her lips. Do I have pink for this one? I don't have pink. Oh, this one. Light carmine. So that's that's red. That, yeah, can be. Okay, how about the blues? The blue. What are the blue? This is 31. 30 32 30 31 32 wow okay, but i think maybe this and this okay are we good okay some more for this one for the flower let me see how about this green let me check what is this for the skin warm gray nope it's not the skin for the skin what should be the color of the skin come on skin have to remain as okay i think that's it i don't have any more i don't have enough colors oh there i have a light pink okay okie dokie let us start okay so let's ding 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 ding, ding. this one is light carmine light pink Dark browns, these are the browns, these are the greens, these are the reds, and these are the blues. Okay, so let's start with the leaves. Because I think the leaves are pretty easy. Okay, the thing is, I cannot see from there. I need to angle it like this. Ah. Sam, do we have like a, something to angle this? are the leaves leaves where are the other leaves see it's not a good stamping but i was already in a hurry so it's like a distressed kind of look okay so let's use this too. okay so darker shades on the side too bright no it was too bright guys hold on not that green no it's too bright and this one's too dark what am i doing I'm just starting with the leaves and I'm already making a mess. Okay. Is this the leaves? Okay, the other leaves. Okay, I'm just 
So I can barely see the outline of this. Okay. Next would be Lawas Le Blue. Let me check Le Blue is so dark. Ew. Do I have any other blue? It's not the right kind of blue. Whatever. Okay, this will just have to do. Okay, breathe. Breathe. Okay, this is 32 and this is 31. But why are they so different, guys? Clean, clean, clean. Okay. Well, let's see this one. Oh. I'm afraid to put another color because it's I feel it's it's too off. Can I just like say pass? Give to Dallas or give to Don. <laughs> Somebody in the chat. Take over. is a brown flower. Okay, this is a brown flower. Oh, this is still a blue flower. Okay. Later. I will go back to you. Okay, this one where is the other? Okay, brown. Which brown? This one. Pick the There we go.
Oo nga eh, ako rin. Oo, ako since yesterday. Grabe, ang kaya ito. Ah, pwede. It is. Oo nga, correct. Correct, correct. Oo. Kasi the kids naman are okay. So far, that's why I didn't eat eh. I mean, I didn't eat dinner. I was afraid. Oh, no. Okay, correct. <laughs> so, there is on this one. What am I doing, guys? You know how it is like um if you're not used to watercolor like all this like moving around is making me crazy it's like i want colors to stay where they are supposed to stay and that is my issue with with watercolor but uh again something that i'm learning from from our friends is that it's okay it's okay Let's do a little bit more blending later. Oh, this one's blue. Okay, this is still part of the flower. Okay, where is that blue? My problem is I only have, I think, one flower that's blue. Because the others don't match. Okay. This is so hard. <laughs> Can I change my project for tonight? Okay. Let me see. This one is brown. This one is red. This one is red. How about that other brown for the flower? It's like an orange kind of flower. Not really orange. Could this be it? Ah, whatever. It's never gonna be perfect anyway if it's me. Right? So, I just have to. That's the fact that I can barely see. Oh, this is brown. That's still brown. And finally, I think now we have. Okay, this is
Okay. Red hair. What does this red look like? No, it's a different kind of red. Oh well. <laughs> We're murdering this. This this girl. Hi, Dan! So sorry, guys. I haven't been able to read the chat because this is panic time! Oh my gosh! Why does her hair look like this? But actually, it, it does look like that in the picture, guys. Let's just pull it. And then there are tinges of brown in the hair. Do I like? I know that you should like hit step. Again, hi Dan, hi Wims. Wims, congratulations for winning Kendra's card challenge. Polka doodles, hop. Miss Wims, can you color this for me? <laughs> oh, the ba I again, right? I should first look at it, right? But I'm not doing. See? Because again, look at that. That's not, that's, that's like orange. That ain't red. I'm sorry about this beautiful girl. I'm absolutely butchering her hair. Water coloring is hard. Miss Wims. So there are like streaks. We will manage. Where is that? Where is that? What does oatmeal look like? Oatmeal. Are you the hair? Parts of her hair have like streaks of like this one. So it's not like perfectly red. <laughs> what the? What does that look like? try as much as we can if we can salvage this girl what is this one? Oh, this is still here there's still red, dark red on the edges, darker. Okay, and then on the
I should have left a little bit of white space over there. Her body, since I don't have like cream, how do we do that? Really, really light. Where's the pink? flower it'll probably take an eternity for me to learn this this is so hard. Oh, that's a leaf. OMG. That's a leaf. Leaf, leaf. This is blue. They have like a very, very light tinge of pink on the face. How do we do that? Okay, hold on. Let me check if we can put a little bit of pink on the face. That's how it is. Okay, I think at least I I was able to get the color of the of pink of pink. I think I got that. Okay. Woo! I got the, the skin though. Okay. What else is missing from this one? Blending stuff. So once it dries, it has dried up Miss Wins. Cannot move anymore, right? I think it's a digital price, Don. 
Hi, Kay. Oh, nga, I don't have patience with <laughs> painted passion. I'm painting with fear. Okay, anyway, this is the first one. Okay, hopefully tomorrow is gonna be a better one. Okay, let's choose something easier. Like a flower. Okay, there are just the streaks of really, really dark. That's it. That's it. I tried. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. I think that's it for today. Okay. And I don't have enough colors. It would have been nicer if... I don't know how to mix the colors so that they would, like, look. Okay, maybe tomorrow I'll actually use actual... I have a lot of different kinds of watercolors. Okay, so let's use... We use this one today. Tomorrow we're gonna use a different set. Okay, until I learn which one is... Which one is, you know, easier to navigate. I even um put out all my... My Dr. P.H. Martin... But then I don't know how to... I know they're very pigmented. That's why I'm afraid to use them. So, they come in iridescent ones. So, I felt that this was the easiest to, to do. Okay. So, it's just fast. It's 9.15. Okay. Still I have enough time. Come on, dry, dry, dry. Okay, we're just drying my card. Okay, where's my scissors? Okay. And uh, oh, this is gunk. This is gunk. Where's the other one? How about this? Okay, this one's still okay. Okay. We're just gonna... Okay, assemble this. Okay. This is going to be my card base for this. It's um it's a regular slimline die. I, I mean a card. I'm gonna put it like so. I actually was watching Wims uh, did uh, shorts uh, about watercolor, so I was like, "Oh, I said perfect." I watched it, and then I said, "Okay, but yeah, it just I know so many more practice, and I will really put out all my different watercolor um, stuff I have." So that I can ask you guys how to use them. It's actually still wet. So even this, if it dries with, I can still lift the color. Okay. I thought once it dries, then that's it. Is there really somebody who has a hair this color <laughs> other than Cindy Lauper? <laughs> Do you guys know who Cindy Lauper is? Maybe it's just me and Don who's gonna understand who Cindy Lauper is. Right? Cindy Lauper does have this kind of hair, right? <laughs> the kind of red that uh, it's more magenta, I think, kind of looking. And mine is like, it looks like pink. 
but it says in the in the zig color that it's red so whims is right right i remember you need to start like when nenet had a watercolor class with us she said that you need to start first by swatching your watercolor which i never did and as you know i'm very impatient it's like i want it done now finish Just put. I feel it has to be there. And then we will just choose. Okay, is it? Isn't it appropriate? Make a beautiful mess. <laughs> Isn't this a beautiful mess? Right. So the thing is, do I want to put it her on top of her? And just leave it blank over there. Or do I put it there? What's your take, guys? Do I put the sentiment over there? Or do I put it here beside her? Like so. What do you think? I think it's a beautiful mess. Rather than eat, sleep, craft. I think this is a better sentiment for this one. Oh, you know Cindy Lauper, <laughs> because she's she's old now, so I I don't think you guys know you still know her, but she does have very famous songs, like True Colors. That's uh, her original. Yes, at least I'm painting. <laughs> that's so true, Anak. Oh, mix them on a glass acetate then blend it in your brush before you put on the paper okay let's try to do that tomorrow miss wim so every day i'm gonna do watercolor so guys which one okay sentiment down below sentiment on top okay i will wait for your answer while i put this while i put the base just fast and easy so we'll still have time for you guys to have a little bit of a snack okay and then um i hope that you could join us okay in uh don's channel crafty visage and also uh they're live together okay on both channels so normally i jump <laughs> from t to don so i am on both okay so you can join us for their weekly art journal episode right so where do i put this one guys on top or on top of my uh my uh watercolored lady on top okay okay whims thank you see it's nice to have people in the chat thank you teachers <laughs> hopefully by the time april ends i should have started this in april one right i should have done you know daily watercolor okay just you know short ones okay maybe i'll choose uh, smaller images or easier images so that um and then i will put out all the different uh coloring mediums i have but probably just start with watercolor so at least i can master at least master <laughs> learn let, let's not use mass learn at least one of them <laughs> master talaga okay sorry about that guys okay okay Then we will put it over there as Wims suggested. Okay, to put it on top rather than on girl. Okay. 
Okay, what to do with the girl? Okay, and let's put some bling bling. Maybe it would have been better if I didn't uh, hit hit them both. Or maybe it would have been better if I hit emboss the outlines on black. Because I couldn't find my black <laughs> hit embo uh, embossing powder. That's why I settled with uh, silver. Okay, maybe this one so it's not too big. I do this. Okay. So this is the rough side. The very, very rough side. And I think I actually need to use it already because when I bought this about three years ago, the day of year, the store where I bought it said that it's expiring soon. Um, so watercolor papers actually have a shelf life. Anyway, this kind of watercolor, this is called press. So I know that either this is expired or it's expiring soon. Okay, and let's put a little bit of a bling. Give it a bit more justice. Let us see. That's a beautiful life, Dima. <laughs> A beautiful life okay okay so card number two and here's my card number one hmm. where's my stitch card okay so this was card number one okay so again I hand stitched this one's okay uh, there you go so five different kinds of stitches okay and made them as the background and then added crafters gonna craft okay and then this is the colored water colored one there you go okay done i might be a little late on your junk journaling tonight i'll take a quick shower after mommy lala's live stream. it's okay you still have time because it's 9 27 and it their live goes um, it goes on at 10 a.m. Okay, I'm just going to pull, okay, the, okay, the link. Okay, there you go. I'm getting the link, copy. Okay, and then going to my YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, 
animation i'm going to go to oh not customization settings community okay Where it is settings. Is it on channel? Right. Oh my gosh, I forgot where it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Allah, I forgot where. Oh, there. Okay, I found it. Okay. <laughs> okay, there it is. Okie dokie and save that took a while oh my goodness guys i'm so sorry okay i want to see the final card oh you did not see okay are you home are you home already dallas okay sister breathe I butchered this girl. I'm sorry. But then again, this is day one. Okay, day one. Okay, I'll hopefully do better tomorrow. Okay, card number one. Okay, the stitched one. Okay, so five different kinds of stitches. Okay, and then card number two. <laughs> Can I hide like that? <laughs> card number two, this one. Okay, I couldn't get the color of the hair right. I didn't have that color, I realized. And then Wim said that I could actually, you know, mix the colors to come up with an exact color, which I don't know how to do. Okay, so basically, this is it for tonight. So, and a very apt title, Make a Beautiful Mess Today. Yes, she's a beautiful mess. There you go. If I am not live, I'll come. Oh, you're going live? <laughs> Thank you so much, Dallas. That stitching turned out too. Yes, at least the stitching was passable. <laughs> okay, Wims, the live is actually both their channels. So, uh, but T is the one who has the, what do you all call this? The link. And then Dawn will be live together with... Uh, with t so we can be on both their channels so what i do is one gadget is on t one gadget is on don <laughs> yes all right thank you so much my dear friends for joining me and for the boost of confidence you do know that you know watercolor is something that coloring in general is something that uh, i would rather not do but as a, again as part and parcel of you know doing the craft that we do card making and all of this i do know that i need to learn this right so enough procrastination and start just practicing so i decided that for the rest of the rest of my sida i will include a bit of coloring right so let's start with water coloring when i feel you tell me when i can move on to the next one <laughs> right so the next would probably be um color pencils okay so let's do watercoloring first the most difficult one for me 
All right. So with that, thank you so, so much. Again, congratulations, Swims. And see you all at the Not Afraid of Color and Crafty Visage for a bit of art journaling and uh, junk journaling. Thank you so much. See you again tomorrow. Bye. Don't forget to hit that like button. See you.